in the previous video, we had created a planar two link manipulator with two links, the red and green link, and we had affixed a hinge joint to the two links. In this, in this video, we'll make these links move by specifying angles Q0 and Q1. And as you do this, you will be interested in locating the position of the end effector, which is will be defined as a site. So there are three things we're going to do here. We're going to specify a position for the two links, Q0, Q1. Then we'll be doing forward kinematics and forward kinematics is done in Mujoko using MJ forward function. After we do that, it will update the position of the manipulator. We can then query and call the position of the end effector using site. So let's see how to do this. Continue from the previous video, we had created this uh, manipulator. This is what the manipulator looks. Here I'm going to edit this template Mujoko file. I'm going to call this 2D manipulator. So I've opened the file. And first thing I'll do is I'm going to call this XML file, manipulator.xml. Okay. And I can run it either by going to packages, script, uh, run script or pressing command and I on a Mac. So this is how the manipulator looks. Uh, it's not quite the orientation I want it to be. So I'll show you how to modify the, the orientation of the, of the camera so that I can view it from the top. First of all, change simulation types into the large, say 100. I have this config option, set it to one, and now run this file. And now you can zoom it as, as you want it to be. I change the pan till zoom, till it looks okay. We'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now what I've done here is because I set this to one, it actually prints, prints the, the camera position which you can readily copy paste as I'll show you next. So to quit this, I press control C. Then I copy this two lines from azimuth to look at this location in uh, the file. So it's right here. So you can eliminate uh, this, paste uh, what you copied. And now let's run this. And then you see it's, it's the orientation we had uh, set it for. So quit, uh, go back. We don't need to have this uh, uh, printing again for zero. And let's just change the simulation function. Okay, now that I have the view set, let me now start setting up the position of the manipulator. Now, if you want to set the initial position of the manipulator, then just before this while, Set set the initial position. So in this case, the position is set by data dot q pose zero equals zero, and data dot q pose one equals one point five seven. So the way to find these commands is you need to you go to the API reference. So if you go to Google and type Mujoko API reference, you see this. Uh, here you can search for uh, these things. So Q pose, it's right here. So Q pose basically is the position of the joints. It's NQ by one. Here we have two joints, so there'll be two positions. So in uh, Python, numbering starts from zero. That's why it's Q pose zero followed by Q pose one. So here I set the initial position to be zero and 1.57. And if you want to see how it looks, uh, this command I, and then you see it's zero and 1.57, so 90 degrees with the X axis, the first link. So close this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically make this manipulator go from one Q0 to another Q0. So I just use lint space to do that. So let me define a starting angle for Q0. Uh, let's say that is zero and an ending angle for Q0. And let's call that, uh, let's put 1.5, which is 90 degrees. For um, 
uh, Q1, let's start with say zero and then end with uh, minus two times two four is uh, 360 degrees. And so then to set the angles, we go Q0 equals np dot in space. So we are borrowing from the uh, numpy package, which I've already imported as np in space Q1 start, Q, sorry, Q0 start, Q0 end. And then I need to specify some number of points. So let's just specify n equals say 100. And then I need to do the same thing with Q1. Okay, and remember that I need to start with Q0 start and Q1 start. So what I've achieved here is I've, I want these angles to be simulated by the two joints. So I've specified them. I've initialized the angles, initialize. Now I need to use MJ forward to display them um, in the, the graphical interface. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set data dot Q pose zero to be Q zero. Now I need some index to run from zero all the way to n. So let me initialize the index here to zero. That is before this while loop comes in. And then data dot equals one equals q1. Okay. So that sets the angles. Next, I need to propagate that through Mujoko for that I do mj, mj forward. Again, this is a function which is available for you to understand in the API reference which I showed. And I'm not going to use MJ step, which happens to be the dynamic simulation part of it. I'm only doing forward kinematics here. So comment that out. So every time I the angle is set, I update the system doing MJ forward. And now there is no notion of time here because time in, is something which is part of MJ step, but there's no time really in, really in MJ forward. So I need to create some artificial variable for time. So I'll do that right now. So I start with time zero, I'll implement by time by zero, zero, one. And so here I will set my previous time to be time. And then I check this to exit this while loop. This is just to simulate a delay in animation. Uh, here I need to increment the time. Okay, so time is incremented every time, time minus time previous becomes uh, greater than this number to be this while loop will be um, exited. Then I want to increase my counter to be the next uh, count for Q. And then at some point of time, I want to stop this from uh, simulating that. I will uh, change this to time. I could either do a time base, but here rather I'll do a um, index base. So I greater than equal to N then I want to break. So it goes all the way till n and then breaks. Okay, so now let's see what this will do. Let's do command I for Mac, command shift P for Windows or Linux. And so it was pretty quick. So in order to slow down, what you can do is uh, increase this. Let's make it 500. Now it goes a little bit slower. And so what's happening is it's basically taking the angles, propagating it through the system to MJ forward, and then animating it uh, right after it exits this, this uh, while loop. Okay. The last part to be done is we want the end effector to be printed and also shown in the animation. For that, we need to work with the XML file first. What I'll do is I'll create a site Um, I'm going to give it a name and that let's call it pip. Okay, and then I'm going to give the size to it. 
So let's see what this actually did. So I'm going to open the Mujoko app. Drag drop manipulator. And then this is basically the uh, tip which was created. So if you can verify this by commenting this out and reloading it, it goes away. Okay. Now clearly I want this um, gray dot to be at the tip, which means that I need to move by some distance along this axis. So let's find what the axis is. Go to rendering go to frame and say body and you can see that i need to move along the blue for link to or the green link so that blue is the z-axis so i need to move by 0.5 along z-axis because the length of this um, link is one meter so i put a p position and i say zero 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 point five that is Point by along the z axis. So now I can do reload. And you see it's right there. So I can get rid of this frame. And this is, looks like exactly what I need. Okay, so I close. Uh, before I close this, uh, I only set the position. I need to be able to read this in my PI file. So what I need to do is I need to now define a sensor. So in this case, I'm interested in the position. So frame pause, object type equals site. So site is the tag, which I'm trying to keep track of. I need to set it the name. And the name is tip. Now, this is something which I found in the XML reference. So if you go to Mujoko website, uh, there is an XML reference which will give you sensor and there are a bunch of sensors available here. I use the one which is frame for which is here. Okay, so you can read more about it over here. So now that I've got this, I can go back to my uh, manipulator and then just read it. The way I read this is through this command, data dot. Site expose zero. Now, since there's only one site, uh, then the fact that it's just the first index, which is in this Python corresponds to zero. So, if, what I want to do here is I want to shift it. Okay, so it'll print it here. Let's stop this, and then you can peek through here where it is printing. Okay, so let's start it again. So you can see that the Z coordinate remains constant, but the X and Y changes as expected. And finally, it it ends along the uh, along the Y axis, which has uh, a coordinate of almost zero for the X and a coordinate of two for the end effector, which corresponds to the end of link two. Okay, 